Korean FPS. And today I'm going to answer a question a viewer asked me. What is in my main go-to toolbox for gunsmithing? So I'm going to show you exactly what's in my toolbox and I'm going to show you my toolbox and we're going to go through the basic tools that I have in my go-to toolbox. Now note this, that these are not all my tools. These are just the main tools that I usually have right in front of me when I'm working on a firearm. I'm not sure what brand of toolbox this is, but this is a great little cheap toolbox. Uh, there's two big draws here, and these are two half draws, and then it opens up and you get accessible to tools up here. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down. Alright, so first off we'll go on the list is uh, my ESS ice glasses. These are military issue glasses, but they make very good eye protection. They are actually ballistics rated. You don't got to go so far with that. I got a level for leveling scopes and whatnot. Uh, DeWalt bits right here. They're in the case. I can take them all the way out. I got needle nose pliers, regular pliers, uh, AR-15, uh, armor's wrench. Uh, I got a bench block for AR-15. I also got one for 308 AKs, so on and so forth. But like I said, these aren't all my tools. These are just my most common tools. And that's another thing for um, the upper part of the AR-15. And this is kind of unique. This is a barrel clamp. And uh, another upper. For and a different style upper uh, block there that I'm not going to show you. Got a bag of steel wool, that's always a must. Yeah, and I'm, I guess it must be weird because I guess I've never seen anybody use this before. But I use it for my toolbox. It's good, rugged, and it does the job. It holds the liquids. Comes with a Russian cleaning kit. It actually is split in half, so there's two compartments. One of these compartments got CLP. The other side, I got solvent. So that way, I have best of both worlds right here in this little can. So, all right, let me set that up here. Uh, in the back, I got all the cleaning rods. Uh, this is aluminum ones and brass ones. I don't recommend steel ones. But yes, I got more aluminum ones, a big stack down there. And then this is a threading tool. If I need to thread a barrel, um, this is some frog lube. Now this is um, specialized cutting oil. And this is a, a Loctite uh, stick, anti-seize. And this is very good for uh, so that your Air 15 when you put it on the barrel, it won't gall, but it's also good for other threads as well. CLP, bore cleaning compound by JB, and then I got Breakthrough, my favorite grease. And now these are just all the little mini AK tools, the small AK tool parts that I have for building AK. Underneath is another case. That's the case right there that holds all my uh, all my dies so that way I can throw the barrel. Now on this side we got everything from cleaning degreaser, perma blue, walnut stain, true oil, and stock machine conditioner. Now I don't really use these a lot. I have another bluing uh, solution that I love to use. Actually it's right here. <laughs> Now this I can recommend. This is really good. I just threw that in there because it's just like a backup. But this is what I really use. is the Black Magic by Clean Bore. The This bluing solution is amazing. It's a very good bluing solution. And they used to have it for just for certified gunsmiths because the it's really potent. As you can see there's a little skull there. This is poison. Um, but yeah, definitely wear gloves with this because this will give you cancer if you don't wear gloves. Alright, and in here... I just, you know, I, I got some uh, universal, uh, oh, in here I got some universal decappers. Uh, these are just the rods as well as the dies to go with it. So I got those as well. I got two of them. So that way if I break a rod and I accidentally run into Burdan, I got extra, extras, universal ones to uh, pump out that primer. Underneath here, I'm going to set that up there for now. I got a cloth. I got a, underneath is a Lyman uh, case lube pad, and this is what I use for my lock tightening my bolts. It's a little uh, tray I got out of a little uh, camping kit for um, cooking camping kit, but I put a little bit of Loctite in there, swish the bolts around, and it gets a thorough, even coat on the uh, Loctite. And this, um, I really have no use for this yet, 
to be honest but there's always a time where you might need this either mix something or whatever but I may need this I don't know it's just there to be there you know it's better to have than not to have kind of thing so that sums up what's in my top part of my toolbox now let's move on to the bottom alright so this is the bottom now I recommend little boxes or something to keep your stuff organized this is actually an aluminum one that my dad made he bent it and made it into a little box so that's pretty cool but the, the rest of these like NC star scope mounts and stuff like that but it's very good for that now that's where I keep all my Dremel, Dremel um, accessories like little brushes cutting wheels sanding wheels all that stuff and then you always gotta have some electrical tape we got red and black um, some label tape for reloading and stuff or whatnot and these are all the miscellaneous allen wrenches. I get so many that I just chuck them in a box. But at least they're organized. They're there, but I gotta go through them to find the one I need, obviously. Um, good set of calipers. Now I got a lot of punches on the left side. I got polymer punches. And these, I think they're nylon polymer, but either way, they're polymer punches. I found these on Amazon cheap. And these are very good for driving sights out and whatnot, especially if you don't want to mar it. And if you want something a little bit more rugged, you can get you know, the brass punches. I got brass punches in there. I got the cheap steel ones. I learned from my mistake. I bought these. These are the only two left that survived. There's two of them in there. But I really like the, uh, these ones. I can't remember what these are called. I think it starts with S. Oh, these are Sterrets. So these are Sterrets. The, these are very rugged. Even these little teeny small ones that usually snap, these Sterrett punches are great. All right, and another thing I got in there is my files, my metal files in the back, and I got my stones. I got two little stones. I got a miniature stone, and I got this stone as well. I just threw that in there because sometimes you might need, you know, little teeny miniature pliers, and then I got my little, little uh, accessories, little multi-tool. Now Allen wrenches. I know I got plenty in there, but I just threw that in there because I have it. And then I got all my little gunsmith picks and whatnot right over here. My jeweler's files are underneath there, the little teeny jeweler's files. And I got a little brush, you know, to clean, you know, little chips away or whatever. So now we'll move on to the back of there. And in here I got my miscellaneous stuff. I got no-go gauges, go gauges, bore sight tools, um, um, ear plugs, and stuff like that. And some people are like, why do you have ear plugs in here? Well, the reason why I got ear plugs in here is because if you're going to paint a rifle, or do something where you don't want to get the anything in the bore, pop this in the bore, not all the way, and then you can remove it and it'll protect the bore from any uh, any contaminants. Now these wires, these are used for um, for a process to coat lead bullets with copper. I haven't mastered this yet, I'm still working on this. I actually failed pretty badly in my first try. But um, I'm leaving soon, so I probably won't be doing this in a while, but I just threw those in there as well. Now this is supposed to have drill bits in it, but I got little um, AR-15 pins, uh, little tiny pins I could use on guns. This is the world's finest trimmer by Little Crow Gunworks. Uh, these are awesome because all you do is throw this in the drill and uh, pretty much push the case in there, and then you got the right case length. And then I got all my... Um, labels for my reloads and these are my swivel bits for uh, cutting a, a swivel for stock like a swivel uh, a swivel mount and these are I don't know what these are I can't remember what these are let me see what these are all right so this, these are the, the the reamers and stuff for reloading Another thing in here that I got that's supposed to be there, but it's right beside my gunsmith case, is this is, I usually have problems loading 223 due to the case length. So I got this. This is a Lyman gauge for 223. So that way you can ensure that you're getting exactly the right length that you need on your reloads. So that pretty much sums up what's in here. Now let's move to the upper drawer. Now this upper drawer, uh, I'm not going to open this up, but these are all the cleaning board brushes and whatnot that I have in here. 
uh, these are now if you, as you notice my cases this these cases this case was originally for chokes for shotguns this case was originally for a Lyman I believe die or something like that either way something um, but I use yeah there's not much in there but those are for the bullet pullers the little um, size for the bullet puller so I try to use cases recycle now then I got all my bore snake cleaners I really like the snake cleaners over the rods if I can use snake cleaners over a rod anytime then I'm gonna use it these are my air 15 cleaning brushes uh, like I said those are my regular brushes but these are my air 15 ones I try to keep them clean uh, these are all my patches and then my microfiber towel rag I got a few of them but that's just one of them there I even got one down there but that's a little dirtier one um, q-tips for cleaning a uh, little light thing of grease some cleaning rods I believe I got cleaning solution in here and this is for scope so if your scope's dirty you can clean that clean the lenses a uh, little teeny adapters for running cleaning cloths through extra brushes and that and then I also got two main brushes over here I got one for oil it's marked oil and one for cleaning so Red is for oils and green is for cleaning. And then I got miscellaneous brushes down there, different sizes that you know came with my guns or whatever. So all right, there's that. And this is awesome. If you want to recrown a barrel or face a muzzle, get this cleaning, uh, get this crown tool, and by Brownells, it's awesome. I used it a few times and I've used it on a few friends, and it is awesome. And you get better accuracy if your uh, crown's damaged. You get way better accuracy with this uh, kit. It's very easy. It's a little hand tool. Very simple. All right, now we're going on to my upper left drawer. Now this drawer has my checkering tools, my X-Acto knife, a uh, little lighter, bore sight, my Glock front sight tool, um, some more brushes underneath, and then I got a box cutter. And that pretty much is what that is what's there. Now for my right side drawer. All right, for my right upper drawer, I got these oil-based pens. Now these pens are very, very awesome. Um, the military actually, use, actually uses oil-based pens to write on like butt stocks and numbers and whatnot, and it actually stays on there because it's oil-based and it can take anything, mud, dirt, all that stuff, very good pens. But I also got touch-up pens, front sight pens by Birchwood Casey, um, so on and so forth. And I even got underneath here, I got some Hornady uh, primer sealer that you can use around the bullet and the primer. So if you're uh, you make, reloading some hunting rounds, it may be raining, that's definitely a must. I got some chamber flags here. I got a yellow one and an orange one. Uh, then I got a um, some Loctite, blue Loctite. And I believe that, yep, green Loctite as well. And some JB Weld. This is high heat. And then I got my bore, bore light back here. It's just one cheap, it's an Avid bore light. It's a cheap one, but what I found is Avid tools are cheap, but they last a long time. I've had that since I've been gunsmithing pretty much. And um, this is a, just a screwdriver that you change tips out of. And here's all my little bits in this little Altoids can. I got all my bits in there. So, like I said, recycling and using whatever you can, it makes it much more organized in here. So, all right. So we got that, and now we got a smaller flathead, Phillips, and a bigger flathead. So that's pretty much what is in there. That is pretty much what is in my whole toolbox. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.